CS-235 final project. This is a haptic device by Xiang Ya and Zanfan Quek. So this is three degrees of freedom, active degrees of freedom, and it is passive gravity compensation. They're using spiral pulleys and extension springs, two of them, and in the center of the workspace it is perfectly counterbalanced, it's extremely nice. And they've interfaced this with chai. And so what they're doing here is they're uh, making little doodles. And uh, basically the depth or brightness of the color is controlled by the um, force that they're applying. No, no. <laughs> Mike is graffitiing uh, that I was here. So they're using three cable transmissions. Extremely smooth. And uh, Xiong used the lathe for the first time on those pulleys himself and did a phenomenal job. They're doing uh, direct torque control, brushless motors, nice amps, they've made a nice enclosure. Zan, can you please do the O-ring demo? So you grip this knob. So, alright, uh, Xiong, show me the gravity comp. So you can see it's not falling over. It always wants to return. Okay. Alright, so go ahead and uh, manipulate it for me, Mike. So the forces are very high, very stiff mechanism, and they've plugged it into Chai so they can do arbitrary haptic interaction with their custom haptic device. It's really exquisite work. Very, very smooth action. Okay, CS-235, final project, Xiang Ya and Zan Fan Quek. This is their three degree of freedom haptic device, and it is quite amazing. So first, uh, Zan, can you go ahead and just um, start drawing there for me? Okay, and so the harder he presses, the deeper the color is. Okay, and now he can select a different color. So you can paint multicolors. Okay. Now go ahead and do the o, the um, O-ring example. Now note, Zahn is not holding on to the device and it is passively uh, gravity counterbalanced using uh, spiral pulleys and springs. It's a very good use so he's not wasting all of his motor energy. Here's a second example. This is the classic tri 3 d O-ring. And the forces are quite high and the device is quite stiff. It has good free space feeling. Okay. Now, do you guys want to tell me a little bit about how your device works? Uh, so, our device consists of uh, three brushless motors for three degrees of freedom, basically, okay. translation of motions in XYZ. Mm -hmm. And for, so, we have the base Z axis, and we have a parallelogram here with the two motors grounded to the first link. So this uh, actually helps us to reduce inertia at the end point mm -hmm. because you're putting all the inertia back at the base. Okay. And to further reduce inertia, instead of using weight as counterbalance, we use uh, spiral pulleys. Mm -hmm. So uh, for this mechanism, what's great is that each of the joints for the gravity torques, they just depend on their own uh, joint angles. For example, for joint one, it's just a function of theta one. Okay. So that makes designing the pulleys really easy. We just okay, no, let me get in here. These the spiral cap stands here, and they're connected to linear extension linear. springs down here. Yep. So go ahead and move the knob for me, and let's see the spring stretch. You can see those stretching. Cool. And then this is they have three cable cap stands, and this is their first time using the lathe, and they did a very nice job. Okay. Guys, super terrific. Very impressed.